What I want to talk about today is blogging for your business. You'll have heard a lot of people talking about blogging and how it improves your website. And it is an absolutely essential part of your digital profile now. So what I want to talk about are three ways in which blogging can really power up your business. Number one is search engine optimization. SEO are the activities that you do on your website to have places like Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc put you as high up the rankings as possible so you're very discoverable to your customers. Um, part of search engine optimization is a healthy, active website. Uh, Google and search engines, particularly Google, don't like websites that never change. So if your website, no matter how glorious it looks, hasn't changed in the last six months, it's likely to be very low down in the rankings. Now, one of the ways to ensure that you do have a flow through of good, high quality, relevant content coming to your website is through regularly blogging. Minimum once a month, but if you can get to blog at least once a week, even better. What that does, it introduces new content to your website on a regular basis. Relevant content that Google can then understand and present in searches, but also it indicates that your website is current, it's active and it's up to date. So from a search engine optimization perspective, introducing new content to your website on a regular basis that informs your customers and is relevant to your business is a great way to let Google know that you have a serious website, that you know what you're talking about, and it will have an impact on your ranking on Google. Secondly, it's about keeping your customers in the loop. Just as we said, keeping relevant content will help search engine optimization. Providing regular content to your customers will demonstrate your capability. I talked about in a previous video, the five cornerstones of good content marketing. Inform, educate, entertain with relevance and value. That's what you're doing with your blog. You will inform or educate or entertain in a relevant and valuable way for your customers. And the upshot of these five elements is that you gain credibility, authority, and trust with your customer base. You are the expert. They will come to you because you are providing them with a consistent level of high quality content that adds value to their lives. So that is the biggest part of blogging. It allows you to talk knowledgeably and intelligently about what you do which will convince your customers that you are the expert, you are the best person for them to spend their money with. You gain trust and trust will lead to sales. Regular blogging, fantastic way to demonstrate just how brilliant you are at what you do and get real engagement from your customers. I talked in a previous video about how you can take your blog and chop it up into little bits and pieces to feed throughout your social network. And I'll reiterate that here. The blog is a great thing to create content for the rest of your social marketing. Rather than having to go hither and thither trying to find something to put onto Facebook, to put onto Twitter or any of the other networks, you can take your blog or parts of the blog and chop it up. A quote from the blog could be used on Twitter. Some passages can be used on Facebook. It could be talking point at a networking event or as in the case of this video, a script to create some video content. This is a short version of a blog that I wrote. I've decided to take that blog and do a short video on it. And there'll be a link to that blog in the description or the comments of this video, wherever I've posted it. But you can then use your blog to make the rest of your social marketing so much easier. One blog can then provide you with a week, maybe even two weeks worth of content. It's absolutely brilliant and vital because it then drives people back to the website, which is where you want them to be. They generate purchasing decisions at the website. So use that blog to save yourself a lot of time and energy and inform the rest of your social marketing. And just to wrap up, all of this has to be driven by relevance. Google as a platform is obsessed with providing the most relevant results for the search that is put into its engine. If someone types something into Google, Google don't want you to go to page two. They want that first page to be the best websites for the job. Therefore, the more relevant your content, the easier it is for Google to put in front of people who are going to care about it. So think very, very hard about any content you put on the Internet, whether it's on your website, or whether it's on a social network. Is it relevant? Is it something that your customers are going to care about? Is it solving a problem? Is it giving some support, some help? The more relevant it is, the more specific it is, the easier it is 
for things like Google and Facebook to present it to the people who are going to care about it. So whatever you write your blog about, make sure that it has relevance to your business and to the products and services you offer, and that that blog is about a specific thing. That way, much easier for your customers to engage with, but more critically, easier then for Google to present to people who might be searching for what you do. If you like the video, give it a like. If you think someone else will like it, give it a share. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel for more content, the subscription button will be floating around somewhere above my head right now. I'll also put a link to the video that is about um, taking your blog and chopping up into little bits and pieces to provide a wealth of good content. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic week.